What's right, good people? Welcome back. As to is back, yeah. I mean, I have this 2017 Volkswagen T1, however, you pronounce that Taiwan T1. It, it, you see what I'm saying right there? Shout outs to everybody in the building, all right? Shout out to uh, people from uh, Taiwan to the Philippines, Japan, India. I don't know why I was gonna say Shakira. Shakira? Peru, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Paraguay, Uruguay, the States, Canada, Greenland, Italy, Germany, everybody in the building, all right? I'm gonna show you how to do the real braids in this uh, uh in this baby 2017 Volkswagen T1. Um but if you have a, a T1 from 2012 to 2017, then this video is for you. Alright, so stay tuned. Shout outs to everybody, my subscribers, viewers, haters. I love you too. Side. Thank you for the support, thank you for the love. Every time you support the channel, you contribute to the channel too. Be better and bigger, you know what I'm saying? Get better and bigger, you know what I'm saying? When you contribute to the channel, your contribution, your support goes towards a better equipment, you know what I'm saying? Cameras, tripods, accessories for uh, make this video better, you know what I'm saying? Better quality and all that, you know what I'm saying? And part of the support go, go back to the community, you know what I'm saying? Talking about the community, get your membership too, all right? There's three levels. I'm saying the third level is better than the first one. I'm saying the basic. So get your membership. Don't forget that. Subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. If you didn't subscribe yet, subscribe to the channel. Know what I'm saying click on the subscribe button, like, share, comment. Anything you want to say about this video, put in the comment box. All right, that's very important. I need that feedback. I need everything you want to talk about your dog, your your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Anything, put in the comment box. Let me know. Let me know how that thing go. Know what I'm saying. You want to talk about the car put it over there too most important thing is about this project so or the channel know what i'm saying put it in the comment box let me know how you feel about all that all right i'm not gonna hold you uh let's do this real brakes okay this is epb electronic parking brakes so uh, you're gonna need a scanner all right i'm gonna show you how to do it without the scanner and with the scanner know what i'm saying because this is how i do this is how big dog do know what i'm saying know what I'm saying Let's get it. Let's do it. Yeah. Guys, first we're gonna do with the scanner, right? You see right there? You see that baby right there? That's where you're gonna connect the uh, your scanner, okay? I'm using the, uh, this is the D9 X2 ED. I wanna, I'm gonna start from all the way from, from the bottom, all right? X2, I gotta, I gotta up, I have 39 updates. Usually you get this many like every three days or something. Okay. When you buy this H2 D9 or any other H2, you get like three years uh, updates for free. You see what I'm saying? All right. Over here. We go special, fun special function. EPB. Don't forget to uh, click this twice, okay? Click it twice. You see all the lights on, okay? That's the start engine uh, button. Click it twice, okay? Now here, back to this. We're gonna go Europe, okay? When I look for Volkswagen, click on that. Please open the code for models after model year 2019. This is 2017, so we Gucci. Automatic detection. It's reading the computer now, executing. It tells you what's up, brand Volkswagen, uh, year, Mileage 8750, but this car be, being a standing for for quite some time. Know what I'm saying now we're gonna go here parking brake EPB. It's communicating with the with the car. Replace the brake pads. When I press this, the uh, EPB in the in the in the back of the car it's gonna sound you hear that thing is stuck 
you to stop. Okay, it says brake cylinder has been retracted. Please replace the rear brake pads after the replacement is completed and the brake cylinder is returned to the vehicle. Press again to carry on. Alright, so now here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shut this down. Okay, just press it once. I want to put this in standby. Okay. Now we're gonna work on the uh, on the brakes. All right, so this is how it looks like. All right, this is the EPB electronic parking brake. Let me give it some light. This guy right here. That's a connector. I'm gonna show you how to disconnect that. I'm gonna do this with the T30 hits. Show you that. And yeah, so come on, let's do it. E. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's lose this one first, all right? Of course, uh, at the end I'm gonna give you the parts number. Okay. If it's hard like that, hit it with the hammer, okay? Don't breathe the debris. The vibration of the head is gonna set free the threads of the bolt. See that? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. This is T30, right? Eh? T30 CRV. Okay. This bolt's right here in the back. 13, 13, 13. Uh, let's see. Uh, looking for my. I'm gonna use the wrench ratcheting. The brand new brake pads come with the uh, new bolts, just so you know. Okay. Something like that. We're going to hold this, spinning with it. If you want to hold it, it's going to be 17, okay, 17 branch. Uh, right there, do you think? Oh no, that's like a 5 eighths maybe. 5 eighths. 5 eighths should do it. 5 eighths wrench with a 13 millimeter wrench ratcheting to make it faster. It's kind of tight here, so you're gonna need that. Once this thing's loose, I'm gonna do the one on top. Counterclockwise. Loose it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Gotta remove this baby. Okay. You see this connector right here? You see this connector? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the lock pick, which is here, and I'm gonna wiggle it. I don't like to press on the thing though because it's a uh, Sometimes it's kind of stupid though. Uh, 
Let's see this, just put it like that, lift it. Careful when you hit it, okay? It's just because it has a lot of dirt in there. All right? So you set it free. This guy now. I'm gonna push it back, okay? Now we can push it back because we retract the uh, the piston, the mechanism inside, so we can push the. Uh, so we can push push it without forcing the uh, EPB. It's up to you if you want to spray some WD-40 inside just to make it easier to lube it inside since this car is being parked for a minute. That should help. Just gonna use the piston pusher. like that okay all the way to the back this guy we're just gonna put it to the side now we're gonna remove the uh, the bracket okay so come on so we're gonna do this one right here and this one right here for that you need this guy right here what is it this is crv m14 crv m14 all right Is a That's one. This how it looks like. I might have to clean all that. Brush, brush it. And, uh, all right, for this one, for for the one on top. Hopefully you can see that. Use this guy. Three A for station. Swivel adapter from uh, from three A to a uh, half inch. brush it now here I'll give you a better view okay so here we just in a, this is a bracket okay this is a bracket we're gonna replace the hardware too okay 
are where the pads. It's all rusty. It's all it's done. Okay. Done. Change this. So for this, uh, I'm just gonna spray with some brake cleaner, then brush it. There's a brush now. At the end, I'm gonna give you the parts number, okay? So bear with me. That should be good. Grab this baby. That's that store brain. Get the new rotor. This hole, I lined it with the, uh, the little guy. Oops. One second. Sorry. Way too much. Right there. That should be fine. There's a hole over here. That's for the bolt. Okay. Put the bolt back. Tighten with the uh, heads T30. CRV T30. Automatically, the holes for the uh, studs gonna align. The Gucci now. This guy, I'm gonna replace this. The hardware. I don't need it. I'm gonna brush it too. Just press on brake cleaner. I'm gonna brush it. That's good. Should be good. The more bad. Okay, good. Should be good enough. Spray some brake cleaner again. Get it. Get rid of the debris. The Gucci. All right. The brake pads come with the uh, with the hardware. Studs for the bracket. This hardware too. What you're gonna do is uh, put it like this. Like that. Wait. So. Okay, just like that. All right. The other one is the same thing. Okay, but like that, push it down. That's it. All right. Pretty much. Now I want to loop this and put it back. Okay. 
This is what I'm using. Raybesto silicone brake lubricant. Glue. Gonna look like glue though, but it's, it's thicker. Pause. I'll put it right here. Okay. I'd rather put it now. Put the loop now. Then uh, put it when uh, it's mounted. Okay, pretty much. Now we're gonna put it back. The same way we remove it. Check this, guys. It's supposed to be like this. Easy to, easy to uh, move in and out. Just gonna put it back. I'm gonna hit it behind with the uh, impact gun and that should be it for now. So now here, just gonna put the new brake pads. Okay, it's gonna go like this. Okay, that's it. The same is in the back. Now you're good. Uh, it's up to you if you want to put some uh, brake lubricant in the back of the uh, pad. Brake pad. Now this guy. Just gonna put it in. Okay. Just like that. I'm connecting the. Uh, the EPB, okay. Make sure you connect the good though because it need an extra push. Okay, I'm just letting you know. The new brake pads come with the uh, new bolts for the bracket. This bracket right here. No, I just started with the 13. Started with the 13, and we're good. There we go. Do the same at the bottom. This is spinning. Don't forget to grab it. Five eighths. There you go. There you go. Make sure you connect good the. Uh, Okay. I replaced the rotor, replaced the uh, the brake pads. 
connect back the uh, the EPB. Came back to my scanner after one hour or so, or more than one hour, maybe two hours. Uh, my scanner didn't want to play with it. Didn't want to <clears throat> uh, set set the EPB uh, for after service. You know what I'm saying. So I connect this other uh, scanner, which is really good. Okay, and. What I had to do is uh, go to a uh, EPB function. And then from there, this is other scanner. This is the Autel Matt CSIS MS906 TS. This, this one is really good too. Well, the thing is that I went through all this. He played with the uh, EPB, electronic parking brake. And now it works. You just got to follow that and that's it. Okay, now it works. You heard that? The step on the brake, press it down. You heard that sound? That's the EPB working. So it's good now. All right. So be careful. Okay. Uh, if you're gonna leave the card uh, on with the same scanner, you have to uh, connect the booster to the battery because. To do the service by itself, it takes like, let's say, one hour. One hour, two hours. Okay? And in that time, you're going to kill the battery. So, you got to connect the booster. Otherwise, if you don't want to deal with all this, or if you want to deal with this, you know, shut it down, shut the car down, you know. Turn off the scanner. And then, uh, you're going to have to deal with this. The other way you can do it, do do the EPB without the uh, the scanner. Uh, I have a video for that. Look it up. I did it with a BMW. Okay, it's the same thing, same mechanism, same uh, same game. Okay. So now I'm just gonna leave it right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the tires back. I'm gonna put the tires back, road test it, and pretty much it i hope you like this video i hope you enjoy if you have any questions you know put in the comment box let me know how you feel about this uh this car is it reliable you like it you know anything anything you want to say about this car put in the comment box thank you for the support thank you for the love all your support all your contribution go towards uh new equipment and back to the community too i'm trying to uh get these hoodies and and and, and shirts and all that so i can just send it to to y'all to the subscribers to the viewers know what i'm saying most for the subscribers all right so if you haven't subscribed subscribe now like share and comment all right the other support you can do is over here there's a super super tense button click on that go through it show your love know what i'm saying shout outs to everybody in the building from japan to taiwan canada what's going on there's a lot of uh smoke over here in new york what you doing you better control that because you're gonna ruin my summer. I'm saying, keep your keep your eye open on that, all right? And uh, I'm gonna leave it right here. I hope every everybody in Canada is, is okay though. But you gotta stop this uh, wildfire or whatever that is, okay? That is ruining ruining my look at the day. It's ruining my my summer, my spring, all right? So I'm gonna leave it right here, okay? I like you boy thank you for watching it's a stool you know what time it is i'm clocking now giddy yeah oh, i was dead huh i forgot about something though the parts hold on this is the part number for the brake pads okay rear brake pads all right that's the brain that's the part number 2391401 all right rear brake pads all right it's the same for both sides. Well, it comes in a in a pack, so you're gonna get for both sides, okay? Then this one right here is a uh, same brand, Ted Star. That's a part number 92140805. This is a rotor. It's the same for both sides, okay? This is a single uh, unit, okay? So you're gonna have to buy two, okay? Two of this is the same for each side. 
Ah, que le vi pizza. Ojalá, chupudo, estuvo platinado. Yeah.